Hello guys and welcome back to my series of videos of how to record your music and share it with the world. This is the video number three and in this video I'm going to teach you how to add tracks and uh, the pros and the cons about Studio One being free. So um, first there's some catches to the, to the software and uh, the two most annoying things being free because all almost free DAWs have this kind of um, stuff uh, except for Reaper because Reaper is not actually free but you get a license uh, for a lifetime even if you download it just for free so probably I'll check Reaper on another video but for now I'm staying with Studio One and uh, about Studio One if you want to unlock the two things I'm going to talk about the first thing is not being able to import mp3 and that's uh, kind of annoying because you know, when you have a backing track that you've downloaded from the internet naturally or n normally comes in mp3 so you have to convert the mp3 to wave in order to import into studio one okay that's one of the the things that's a little bit annoying <clears throat> the second one being the fact that you cannot use third-party plugins so you cannot insert, let's say, Amplitude, Guitar Rig, S Gear, any of the amp sims that your favorite, you cannot insert them. So at this point, I'm asking you guys if you want me to continue um, making these videos on Studio One since I've already announced that Studio One as the best DAW being free, because it is, um, or if you guys want me to move to Reaper, because Reaper, although the interface and um, it's a little bit more complicated to understand than Studio One, but as the option, uh, at least it's completely open, even the skins, uh, you can modify the, the colors and stuff like that, and as all that options options open, like importing, importing MP3 and loading Amplitube and stuff like that. Anyway, in Studio One, you have a lot of effects uh, and I'm going to show I had a new track before that let me just my voice is clipping here let me just show you that studio one three artists the price is here it's around 100 euros okay so it's not very expensive and um, I'm saying this because um, I believe that studio one is a great it's a great uh, product with great sound I'm not talking bad about Reaper, but uh, being what I said before, that is more intuitive. If you guys can purchase this bundle, it opens up the the things I've talked about about uh, importing MP3 and using third-party plugins. Okay, and you can find it here on shoppresonos.com. Also, you have everything here the features included and also the tech specs from your computer being a Mac or Windows okay uh, it's very simple to understand this so check out this I'll put a link in the description below after the video so I already had a track for my voice now I'm going here there are shortcuts of course and the more you use them the best because you get used to it and the workflow is much faster but by now I'm going to track and you see here in this menu there's a bunch of different things like add tracks you choose several tracks different formats add audio track add audio track stereo mono stereo instrument track and so on okay for now we're going to just add an audio track mono because that's the way we want to input our guitar okay so click here and this is a track okay now here in the left corner you can see that my input is all, all it's the same input as my voice so i'm not going to click here to monitor the sound or i'll be uh, having double voice okay so i'm going to choose my scarlet as two inputs so one is for my vocal and this one input two is where my guitar is connected by the way i'm, I'm using my strat so I already assign input 2 here to record okay now if I press this button here where it says monitor if I play my guitar there's no sound but if I click here you get some sound it's very low okay for now 
but you can increase the, um, the volume on the in, uh, I mean the gain on your sound on your sound card okay but let's just say like like this so you already had created a track for your guitar now if you double click here where it says track 2 you can rename it so I'm going to rename it to guitar press enter and that's it now like I said before if you come here to song and import file shortcut is shift command I or Y you'll see that um, if I go here to my folder where I have some songs it, it will all import mp3 uh, sorry wave files okay not mp3 so if you have a backing track you have to convert it before now that I have the, this here I'm going to click here in my mix window down here on the corner left low low left corner okay and uh, let me just collapse this and this is a track for my vocal and it says here and this is for my guitar if I click here I can change the color let's put it red okay now there's a little arrow underneath all these little buttons here just show you I'll show you what they do later that says expand and I'm going to expand this okay so it opens up this little window here and then you have a little a series of stuff here like a drop menu here you click here on this plus sign this will pop up let me just close these folders a lot of folders with plugins for analysis, delay, distortion, mixing, modulation and reverb and when I go here to distortion and if I click here, Empire, this is the amp that comes with uh, Studio One Free. It will open up, okay? Now my guitar already has another sound, a guitar sound. It's not perfect, but it's not bad at all. You have two channels here, channel A. It's more for probably clean sound although it's distortion right now and then a more stronger channel B okay the cabinet is active if you click here you disable cabinet so make sure it's active now the controls are very basic you have drive, bass, middle, treble, presence and gain okay drive and gain is sort of the same thing uh, so this is the ampli amplifier that comes with Studio One. You see here the, the tubes glowing that comes um, with this free version. But there's nothing wrong with it because you can um, make your sound make and sound great anyway. Okay, so to make it sound it better, what we're gonna do is add some effects, okay? Uh, I mean effects like EQ and effects like modulation or chorus or delay or reverb or something like that. So, uh, first I want to add an EQ. So I'll stay here in this little window and press plus and I'm going here to mixing and there's this channel strip that has compression and EQ and stuff like that so I'm gonna click it okay you don't have to mess around right in the left here but you have a three band EQ okay so you can click in one of the dots and if I turn it up or down you'll see that it reflects here on the right panel okay so you can do this with your mouse or you can do this just with the knobs here I'm already changing my sound. One of the common problems of um, amp themes is the fizziness they always have, especially when they are completely free. So I'm got, gonna, gonna, gonna get rid of that fizziness because that fizziness is related to the high end content of the, of the sound. So I'm going here to the highs and I'm gonna decrease this, okay? It's a sort of a high pass filter, a low pass filter, I mean. Okay, 
you can further adjust here where you want to go this is a frequency frequency you want to cut right now it's an 8k and this is again uh, the amount of decibels that you're cutting right now it's in minus 11 if I bypass this here on this button blue button so I have a more natural sound just by cutting these high frequencies let's check out on the neck pickup okay so I'm probably take a little bit more around 9 or 8k let's see how it sounds now <laughs> <laughs> 